I just want to uh, discuss what's going on today. My stepdad decided to uh, kick out one of our dogs. Her name was Lido. Uh, she was around four years old, I believe. I'm really upset about the whole situation. My mom's just, you know, she's a wreck. We decided to uh, let her go around the uh, Ohio-Indiana state line because we knew, well, she knew, that uh, dogs in the Humane Society don't really last too long. I mean, they're only there a week and then, you know, they're euthanized. So we decided to uh, at least give her a fighting chance. We uh, gave her something to eat, something to drink, and uh, we took her all the way out to the Ohio-Indiana state line and released her. You know, it's a very, very bad time, you know, right now. I mean, not only with, you know, John's bizarreness, but, uh, the whole thing with Lido. And the reason that uh, my stepdad decided to kick her out was uh, because she uh, chewed on the carpet, on the new carpet. She chewed on our uh, previous carpet and uh, we had it repaired. It uh, apparently took a lot of money and a lot of time for her to do that, so obviously my stepdad was a little pissed about the whole thing. But I personally don't really see it as a reason to kick Lido out. I think it's just because of the pressure that uh, John is putting on our family with his little shenanigans that uh, it's causing everybody to just stress out. Mom was crying pretty much the whole way, and uh, I, was, I was a wreck myself. I decided, you know, at that point that enough is enough. I'm tired of living in that house. I'm tired of all the dysfunction that goes on in that house. I mean, I'm not gonna move back in with uh, my aunt and cousins. I'm going to move out on my own. But once I've saved up enough money for a car, and I've purchased a car that is uh, dependable, and around the $1,500 to $2,000 range, I'm going to save up again. I'm going to save up around $1,500 to $2,500 to uh, move out. Now, I talked to my friend Cody. He says that uh, on average you have to uh, be working full time and have uh, be uh, earning ten dollars uh, an hour in order to you know comfortably make it and uh, that's that's probably true but you know with my current living situation you know I'm gonna go insane because you know I, I honestly can't handle it anymore so what I'm gonna do you know save up that money after I've purchased a vehicle I'm gonna move out to Bowling Green Ohio I'm gonna obviously secure a job over there I could by that point, I could transfer to uh, the Bowling Green Walmart, but at least with Bowling Green, there are plenty of job opportunities. I could go back into uh, working at a restaurant. I could uh, work at another retail. I mean, I could work at uh, Kroger. They're, offer they're offering uh, positions. I mean, cashiers for uh, starting out at eight bucks an hour. I could do that. Since I have experience, I'll obviously get more than that. So, I could do that. There are just a whole bunch of other things that, you know, things I don't even know of that are available to me at Bowling Green. So, I've decided to do that. My uh, friend Ariopoulos, he says that he's uh, going to attend uh, Bowling Green University, or State University, sorry, next year. I may or may not be rooming with him after a while if I can uh, get out of the lease. Normally, since Bowling Green is a college town, they most apartments have a uh, six-month or three-month uh, lease agreement instead of you know the standard yearly agreement. So I might be able to get an apartment for you know six months or whatever, or just do it in you know three-month increments until he gets an apartment. Then you know we can you know collectively look for an apartment and uh, we can go from there. If I do have to, uh, if I do end up, you know, g getting an apartment with a uh, yearly agreement, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to uh, get out of it or at least pay the uh, last month's rent because it'd only be off by about a month because he would probably be moving to Bowling Green in August. Yeah, I think my best bet would be to find an apartment with like a three or six month lease agreement, or none at all, that would actually be ideal, but uh, most apartments do have uh, lease agreements, so I will try to find an apartment with a three to six month lease agreement, so that way I can uh, move out with my friend Ariopoulos when he attends Bowling Green State University. He's going there for uh, grad school, and uh, so he'll have a, a monthly stipend, which will uh, be his source of income, and uh, 
we'll do it from there. Um, there's also a, a possibility of uh, one of our other friends from college rooming with us. Um, I'm not really for sure on this. I'm not sure if or Ariopolis is either. But uh, we have to uh, ask him because uh, I just want to you know, get the situation taken care of as quickly as possible. So uh, that way, you know, I know what I'm getting myself into. Instead of, uh, will you know, Ariopolis get himself an apartment, and uh, you know, will it be a three-bedroom with uh, some guy, some other guy from college that I know, or will it just be me and him? So I need to get you know these facts taken care of because I think both uh, both people, Ariopolis and the uh, other guy, are uh, really busy. It's their uh, last year at Urbana University. So they're obviously, you know, a little busy with, you know, final things that they have to do. So I'm going to talk to them, which is see uh, if that's what they want to do. I won't actually go into specifics as far as, like, you know, which apartment complex we want to live in and things like that. But I do want to at least make sure and confirm we will be all rooming together or not. Because if we're not, if, you know, Ariopolis just wants to go on his own, or if he wants to room with somebody else, then, you know, I'll just get whatever apartment it comes to me. I don't really give a shit if it's a yearly agreement or not. So I just want to make sure so that way I don't get myself uh, locked into a situation where, you know, I'm, you know, stuck. Because I originally wanted to uh, move to Bowling Green uh, with Ariopolis, and, you know, we both go to uh, Bowling Green State University. But as you guys know, I was... Uh, not accepted to Bowling Green State University because my GPA was really low. But uh, I was going to take remedial classes here at the uh, Wright State Lake campus, but because of my current living situation, I've decided uh, against that. It may or may not be the uh, wisest choice that I've made, but I feel that right now I could not function. I mean, I could not function on an academic level or on a work level, continuing to live where I'm living and under the conditions that I'm living. Like I said, I'm trying to save up around 1500 2500 maybe even 3000 if I can, and then uh, I'm going to uh, move out. I'm going to look for an apartment, look for a job. First I got to get the job secured, then uh, once that's done, you know, the apartment will just fall into place. So that's uh, all I really wanted to say right now. But uh, I have to get back because i got to go back. I have to uh, go to work soon. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, have fun.